Hello and welcome to The Entrepreneurial Musician, a coaching service, podcast, blog, and newsletter preparing today's musicians for tomorrow's realities. This is TEM 279 titled, Using Restrictions to Encourage Creativity. Thank you to Parker Mouthpieces for providing the hosting for TEM. Parker Mouthpieces offers fine, customizable component mouthpieces for horn, trombone, euphonium, and tuba, including the Andrew Hitz Artist Model Tuba Mouthpiece. You can find out more at parkermouthpieces.com or follow them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This week is the 10th installment of Quartet of Ideas, and it features 31-sentence mindset tips, a few of which really hit home with me pretty hard. It also features one of the most succinct explanations for being an artist that I've ever heard, one that gave me a lot of courage. That all comes out this and every Thursday, so head to signup.tem.fm to subscribe today so you don't miss it. Uh, and you can also find the previous nine issues on the TEM blog at tem.fm slash blog. Okay, let's get right to it this week. TEM 279, Using Restrictions to Encourage Creativity. If you've ever asked someone who speaks a language you don't speak to say something in German, then there's a good chance they have looked at you with a blank stare, even if they are happy to oblige. They could literally just say, I have no idea what to say in German, and the task would be complete. But when every possible combination of words in the history of the German language are in play, it is very common for someone to simply freeze. The same goes for handing someone a blank piece of paper and asking them to draw something. That will frequently be met with hesitation. But what if that same person was asked to draw a bird using nothing but triangles, circles, and five straight lines? I just made up that example off the top of my head, but my mind is instantly wondering how I would accomplish that task. I might use a large circle as the body, a triangle as the head, a small triangle as the beak, a small triangle as the eye, etc., Actually, I guess it would be a small circle as the eye. But the point is that you can even use a circle, square, whatever. It's an interesting problem to solve, and my mind immediately engages with the challenge. But if you asked me to draw a bird freehand, I would not know where to start. I could get there, at least to the attempting it part, but it would take me a bit to process it. Do you ever sit in front of a blank piece of paper or a blank computer screen and not even know where to begin? I have experienced this phenomenon countless times. Sometimes having limitless possibilities, like drawing a bird from scratch, can lead to paralysis. So give yourself some creative guardrails occasionally and do it intentionally. Instead of sitting down at the piano and staring at the paper as you wait for a song to come to you, set out to write a polka that's about checking books out of the library. Now, polkas and libraries might be the furthest thing from your usual creative output, but that's good. By the way, I would totally check out a polka about checking books out of the library, and uh, I'm a tuba for hire, and polka screams tuba, so uh, you've got my email address. You can easily find it at tem.fm. I guarantee you that if you do that, your brain, not email me, I guarantee you that if you write a polka about library books, then your brain is going to start thinking of some ridiculous lyrics set to a polka groove. And that silliness may very well get you unstuck. That could then lead to one of your regular kind of songs. Or, or it could take you down some like brand new creative tangent that might open up new doors for you. Now, will every single time you do something like this, like open up vast new creative... Of course not, but that's not the reason that we do it. The same, by the way, goes for building your first website. Start by building one page for a very specific thing rather than by attempting to do an entire website for yourself. That could be a one-page version of a personal website, but even that can create some problems like what to include and what not to include. So instead, build a one-page website to promote a single event. It could be for an event that you have nothing to do with, or it could even be for a completely made-up event. This is a great and freeing way to get familiar with the basics of any website platform. It's all about getting some momentum. You can then use that knowledge you've acquired, combined with a little bit of momentum, and get started on the actual project at hand. These kind of super small projects are always available to us, so act your way out of paralysis rather than thinking your way out of paralysis. Okay, this week's quote is from the famous musical entrepreneur Harry S. Truman. 
Actions are the seed of fate. Deeds grow into destiny. I really like the wordplay here. Fate is defined as the development of events beyond a person's control. But Truman here is saying that our actions are the seeds that grow into our fate, which is contradictory, but I think it's brilliant. If I had stopped making TEM episodes after, say, episode 20, there's no way that TEM coaching would be an income stream for me right now. And I don't think that would be because it, quote, wasn't meant to be or something like that. It would be because I stopped showing up and I stopped offering free advice that some people then pay me to apply to their specific problems and needs. So my action, showing up 279 times and counting, they have been the seeds of this fate. So always default to action and remember that if you are stuck, give yourself some guardrails. But action is the answer always. Thank you to everyone for listening, subscribing, leaving a rating and a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get TEM, and simply for your attention, the most valuable commodity any of us have to give. TEM is produced by myself, Andrew Hitz, and is a part of the Pedal Note Media Podcast Network. The theme music for TEM is played by Ben Barron, Rich Kelly, Daniel LaPel, and myself, Andrew Hitz. For show notes, the TEM blog, and to learn more about TEM coaching, please visit our website, tem.fm. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and sign up for our newsletter at signup.tem.fm. And that's going to do it for the latest episode of The Entrepreneurial Musician. Thank you.